extra time. But we stay in Bavaria for our final story, which is about Robert Lewandowski being rumoured for the Ballon d'Or. Obviously, Bayern wrapped up another trophy at the weekend with a 4-2 win over Bayer Leverkusen in the day of the Pokal. And Lewandowski hit two to put him on 51 for the season. That's eight better than his previous best tally in a single campaign. And he's achieved it in just 43 games. Henry, I know that you've written about Lewandowski recently. In your opinion, has he been the best player in the world this season? Uh, yeah, so um, just to lead into what you're saying, this Friday, I believe, we've got a scout report coming out, which is going to be all about Lewandowski. So if you know, if anything we say is interesting, you can expand upon it then. That's on Euro Football Daily. But yeah, I think he's been absolutely stunning this campaign. And the reason that he's been so good is he's combined a serious amount of shots with shots on target. It sounds very simple, but there are other players who have the same conversion rates as him. There are other players who've got better conversion rates as him. You know, Haaland this year, even Sancho has a better conversion rate. But no one is get. He's been getting in the positions to get off these shots at a rate... Um, it's not even... The, he's not even taking as many shots as previous seasons. He's, there's been seasons where he's taken a lot more. And he's been unbelievably consistent. But this year, he's combined the quality of shots he's taken with the sheer amount of shots he's taken. And as a result, he's found in the net at a rate of over one... Um, well over one uh, game at the moment. And yet... And the thing is, and I think this is what is particularly interesting, he's got 11 goals and six Champions League appearances so far. The record for a single season, I believe, is 17, which is Cristiano Ronaldo. If he broke that, and he could do that in a season, because I think Bayern could go all the way to the final. I think it's between them and City, in my opinion, for Champions League. If he goes the whole way, breaks that, wins the treble this year, and breaks a goal-scoring record in the Champions League in a year, when they're not even doing replays in the quarterfinals and the semifinals, so he's losing games there. I think you can't deny just how amazing he's been. And 51 goals is unbelievable. If this was Messi scoring 51, we would say it. I mean, and it's between him and Messi. I think ultimately that's where it's going to boil down to. Yeah, and Messi's got 49 goal involvements at club level so far this season. Though he's obviously got a few games left in the league and in the Champions League potentially. Lewandowski's got 57 goal involvements. And you're right, if he goes to the final of the Champions League, he'll have four more games. He'll have a second uh, second leg of the round of 16 against Chelsea, a quarterfinal, a semifinal, and then a final. Um, Mike, do you think that Lewandowski makes Bayern favourites to win the Champions League? Um, I mean, well, as, as Henry said, there's no striker quite on his level, sort of no out-and-out striker quite on his level in Europe at the moment. Does he make him favourites? Probably not, in my opinion, but purely because the Bundesliga season has now finished. The Champions League doesn't get started till the middle of August. Mm -hmm. You know, that's going to be six weeks of not playing. I mean, I'm sure they'll arrange friendlies and the like, but that'd be six weeks of not playing matches against top opposition that Manchester City will have right through July, that the Italian sides will have right through July. Um do I think they'll do well? I still think they'll do well, but it's hard. You just need to see how they perform in that first quarter final game or this or the second leg against Chelsea, whenever that's due to be scheduled, which I don't know. I'm not sure if either of you two know. Um, but the fact it's going to be six weeks from yesterday or whenever they play the Pokal final to their next big game, I wonder if after such a long year of football, they might start to sort of slip away a little bit. Mm -hmm. come August yeah that is a concern for them because I think if if the Champions League were being played now a lot of people would oh, put 100%. as the favourites yeah 100% you'd put Bayern down as the favourites but they... it's just that long gap it's just that long gap that worries me for them under Hansi Flick they've got a win rate of 90.3% they've won 28 times drawn once and lost twice in 31 games which is just rough, nuts but yeah you're right I hadn't considered really Wowza. the gap but um, his Lewandowski's, I think it was his first goal against Leverkusen at the weekend, where he's like deftly flicked it over the keeper from almost point blank range. I mean, that is the sign of a player 100% in control of his game. It was an unbelievable goal. Um, yeah, I, th I, I still think, I like the idea of maybe them and PSG sort of just playing each other every week just to <laughs> sort of stay in shape until the, <laughs> until the Champions League rolls around again. But um, yeah, I think, I still think. When you've won as much as they have this year, Hansi Flick looks like he's been a brilliant addition um, as well. 
Um, I still think they could be favourites going in, and I still think. And if he does win that and claims the treble, hits that kind of 55 goal mark, I think it would be criminal uh, to take the Ballon d'Or from him. I'm sure um, the voting system will find a way how to, but um, I, 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 I don't think you can deny just how good he's been. And it's not like it's not a Virgil Van Dijk situation where he's sort of come out of nowhere. Well, you know, Van Dijk didn't come out of nowhere, but he was very good, and then suddenly he had an elite season last year. Lewandowski has been amazing for 10 years straight he's been doing everything right he's been doing everything you'd expect from a number nine and i think this would be rich reward for a career which is quite frankly exceptional completely agree